Hi you guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I have a brand new subscription box to bring to you guys. I know it's been a while since I've been able to say this. <laughs> I have a brand new subscription box to bring to you guys. That is right here. This is called the Fashionable Beauty Box. Do you want to know what's inside and what this is all about? Stay tuned. guys so I received this box yesterday and to be completely honest with you guys I sat down I unboxed it I did my first impression there was a little something that in here that's a little concerning that I'll get to when I show you now again um and I was waiting to hear back from the company to find out what was going to happen so I can let you guys know so long story short, I didn't edit the video last night. I just left it alone. Today I went to pull it up so I can start editing it so I can add in the spot that I needed to and I can't find it on my phone. Now I use my phone and my phone is always telling me that my iCloud is full. So anytime I do upload a video straight to YouTube, I go in and I try to delete it because I have my normal and then I have the one when I edit. So I have two basically on my phone for every video and it takes up space. So I try to delete it. Long story short, I think I accidentally for the first time deleted a wrong video. I can't find it. So I'm going to have to now show you guys this all over again. So I do apologize. This is not a first impression anymore. This never has happened, but it did. <laughs> Things happen. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the company first and then we'll get into the unboxing and I'll show you what's all in here. I always tell you about the company first, anything and everything that I can find out on my very first box so then we can kind of know what the company is all about, what we should expect and that kind of thing. So now what had happened was the company actually reached out to me and they asked if I wanted to be a part of their affiliate group, which I did apply for because I did go ahead and subscribe myself for a three month subscription. They did not send me this box free for review. I paid a three month subscription for this to show you guys. Now my code is SheCrafty. That'll save you 10% off and the link will be down below in the description box if you do want to check them out. So the pricing for this box, for month to month, it's $45. Three months, you save $6 and it brings it to $129. Six months, you save $18 and it brings it to $252. And then a one year, save $60 off and it's $480. Seems like a whole lot of money. Now, you can cancel at any time. You receive up to $150 value every month you get four to five items every month and you get free shipping for the United States only. Now I think they do ship internationally, but they do charge, but I know it's free shipping for the US. Now what to kind of expect in this box? It says love makeup, fashion and accessories. This box is for you. Each month you will receive four to five beauty, fashion and or lifestyle items every month for a fraction of the price. Expect to see high quality items, name brand items and luxury beauty items. Get double what you pay for. Boxes contain a total retail value of at least double the price of the box. Get your favorite items for much less. We love picking out our favorite items for you to try. All of the items are chosen with season trends in mind. Nothing goes into the box that we do not absolutely love. Unlike traditional subscription boxes, we hand select every item ourselves for every one of our subscribers. That means although every box may have a few similar items, every box is different and every box is unique to each subscriber. Now how it works is you choose your subscription, you take a short survey to customize your profile, then you'll get an email with the shipping confirmation, you'll receive your amazing products in the mail, you get billed the same day, save big on your favorite products. Now, the questions that they ask, just so you know, the questions they ask are, when were you born? So your date of birth. What is your shoe size? What is your shirt size? What type of phone do you have, which is optional? Are there any colors you don't want in your box? What colors do you want to see in your box? Which category are you most interested in? And you get to choose one of fashion, beauty, or lifestyle. And then is there anything else that you want us to know? And there's like a little box that you can write anything and everything in there. That's where I wrote, I do not like yellow gold. I prefer 
teal, blue, black, that kind of thing. I said I'm in Florida, so I do not need anything for cold weather. I don't wear hats, scarves, that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and show you now for my second time, but now your first time. This box was in a brown box and it was covered top to bottom with those little peanuts, the little shipping peanut styrofoam things. And this box was inside, it was taped on both sides, but again, I've already opened it. Then when you open her up, this card, when I opened it, was stuck to this. When I opened the box up, this was stuck like this. And I pulled this card off and I saw their sticker. This is their sticker. This is Fashionable Beauty. I do recommend them coming up with a better logo or printing it better. For one, it's it was sticky, so my card stuck to it. But for another, you cannot read their whole name over here because the font like blends in. That's just my own personal suggestion that the sticker kind of needs a little revamping. <laughs> that's just that's just my own uh <laughs> my own suggestion. Now they do have like a Christmas card in here because this is December's box, and then they put in this. You can see the whole sticker that they put on top, and it goes over all of the items and the pricing in there. So I do appreciate that. Most companies when they first start up, they don't even put the product. Um, like the descriptions very well and they don't put the how much they are so i do appreciate that they do have the the product prices so when you open her up this is basically what you see i do like their choice of paper shreds because these are not like your normal paper shreds they're actually like glittery they're actually pretty so the first item that I pulled out was this wallet right here. And since, which is kind of good because I actually looked online because I've never heard of this brand before. And Macy's actually sells the same brand purses for like 200 to $400. And I was like, holy moly. I have this thing where I have to have my stuff match. So I have to have my purse match with my wallet. So I was like, I probably won't keep this even though it's really nice all night I kept playing with this and looking at this and I'm like I actually really like this wallet so I am going to keep this I could use this in my all black Balzano bag that I just got from that subscription because that doesn't have a wallet or eventually I might look at these purses and maybe find a purse to match to go along with it I'm not sure but this is um I'm gonna say Tahara I don't know if I'm saying that correctly but here is the actual wallet. There's the name, to, I'm saying Tahara. Now, this wallet is so cool because you open this up and look at all of these, look at all this room for cards. Like I don't even have this many in my wallet currently. I mean, I have this many credit cards. <laughs> I don't have this many slots. <laughs> so I do like that I can actually put them on in their own because some I have like behind each other and I have to try to like figure out where they are sometimes and it's just a little, chaotic in my wallet at sometimes. So I do really like this and it has identity protection lining. I don't know if those RFID lining protector blocker things really work, but I do appreciate the fact that that is in here. So behind every single one of these slots, you can fill a different type of material and that is the RFID, like the blocker. So every single one of these has that blocker built into the material, like it's it's in there. So I do appreciate that. So there's all those slots for cards. There's all those slots for cards. Your ID can go there. There's a big opening here and then there's a big opening here then so that's like easy access for if you're just paying by credit card pull that out and i do like that because sometimes i've noticed when i'm standing in line if i go to pull out my credit card sometimes people are like looking in my wallet and they can see like cash or anything you don't have to no one's gonna even know if you have any cash because all you're doing is dipping in this side where your id and your cards are and i do like that i do like that and then in here, you do have another spot for cards on this side with a big pocket here. And then you have the zipper for your change. And then here's two big openings here. So you can separate your cash or your coupons or whichever in here. I really like this wallet, you guys. And this wallet is valued. This one is the Black Tahari Wristlet Clutch, $40. And I did, like I said, I didn't know this brand before, but if Macy's sells their purses for like 200 to 
they're not just like some cheap brand. So I actually like that. I'm not too fond of this big old strap thing, but it might help me just pull it out of my wallet. I mean, out of my purse, I'm not sure. But there is the tag on here that has the actual tag. And I actually like this wallet, you guys. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> so then the next item was in here. This was actually completely sealed in plastic and it had another blue sleeve that slid over it and it didn't show the name. So I was really confused, like opening it, like, what is this? So now that I have opened it, here's the box and that is who it's by. This is a company called Sue's Secret. This is a necklace with, and I don't know if I'm gonna say this right and I'm probably not going to. <laughs> Sw Swarovski crystals, I have no clue, but it has some kind of a crystal. It comes in this box and it has like their paperwork and it has a cleaning cloth and you can store it. It says you can store it in this box but this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. This right here is valued at $40 and it's stainless steel, no sterling silver. The chain is definitely different. It has all these little tiny links to it. Um, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that. There's like all these little tiny links to it, see? And then you also do have one circle here where you can adjust it to make this smaller if you would like. This fits me perfectly, but you guys, look at this crystal. I don't know what kind of crystal that is, the Swarovski, whatever that is, but this thing is gorgeous. And I said blues are my favorite color, so I'm assuming that's probably why I got this blue one maybe, I'm not sure. But if not, they did an amazing job because that is beautiful. And it has like, a lighter blue switch to it, depending on how you move it. This is just gorgeous. And I know these are not diamonds right about here, but there probably are some type of a crystal or a stone or something, but this just looks so elegant and pretty. I really, really like this. Let me show you with it on. It'll fit probably right over this one. So hold on. And this one does have some weight to it. I noticed that. Oh, pulled my hair. Okay, so now I have two of them on at the same time, but you know. But this is so pretty, you guys. Like, I love this necklace. So, so far, these first two items are the first two that I opened yesterday, and I was in love with both of these items. Then the next item was this guy right here, and this I will be putting in a future giveaway because I do not like gold. I was actually in TJ Maxx one day and I saw somebody open, cause you know how everybody has to open everything and touch everything and ruin it for the next person. That's why I never even go there anymore. But somebody was opening this next to me and I, and she put it on her hand and I was like, oh gosh, it looked all gold. And I'm not a yellow gold fan. So I was like thrown off by that, like what? But this is the Too Faced. <laughs> this is the Melted Gold Liquefied Gold Lip Gloss. And it, the box is cute. It kind of looks like it would be like a gold bar. And there's the product right there. And this guy says that this is worth $21. And again, I don't like yellow gold and that was in my profile. So when I tell you how I emailed them, We'll get to that because I probably shouldn't have, re well, I know I shouldn't have received this knowing that I put that I don't like yellow gold. So this is one item that I will be putting in a future giveaway because I'm sure somebody out there would really like this or use it as a lip topper or something like that. It's just, I don't care for yellow gold. Now, this is where the problems lied. I then opened this product and it's an Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Multi-Action Cleanser. And this cleansing foam is valued at $26 and this is what it looks like. This did not, it wasn't in any packaging or anything like that. Um, it did have like some little smudges back here, which could have been from these, I don't know. Then I go to open it and I'm like, there's not a safety seal. There was not a safety seal. And inside here, you can see there's already drops of product in there. And normally, even if a product doesn't have a safety seal, which I would assume Estee Lauder would probably put safety seals because they're a name brand company. But if they, if there is not a safety seal, I've never opened a product without one and there's already product inside and there's product like residue on the top where it already looks like it's been touched or swatched or something. So that raised my first red flag. This was the item, my fourth item I got to, everything was going good and I got to that and I'm like, uh, I'm not quite sure. 
So then I got to this item, which is the Estee Lauder 07 Pure Color Envy, and it was an eyeshadow palette. This was wrapped in plastic, and this side of the plastic was like opened. It, like the whole thing just like fell apart, it, it was opened. So when I put this in my hand, I was like, hmm, that sticker right there looks very yellow. It looks very old, it looks aged, it's got patina. <laughs> so I said to you guys, this looks kind of like this is an old sticker. I hope this isn't expired. So then I opened it up and I looked at the colors and everything. And um, she told me she picked this for me because I said teal are my favorite colors because this is the Untamed Teal Palette. So here's the front of it. And of course it has my fingerprints because I've already opened this. Then when you open it up, there is a mirror down here. There's two little tiny brushes. And then when I remove this to show you guys, there are the colors. Now, there you go. So then I look down and this says this is valued for $56. And I'm like, holy moly, Estee Lauder site, they are still selling this for $56. So that is a legit price. That is so expensive for just this little tiny palette though. Like so expensive for this little tiny palette. But that's the brand's thing, not mine. So I told you guys in the video that this product just seems a little, it just seems like it would be a little old to me just by the way that it looked, the way that the packaging fell apart, the way that the sticker was yellowed. So after I was, and I said in the video, I'm gonna go ahead and research a little more on these two products and then I'll let you know. So when I was done filming, I went and I put in these batch numbers online. The batch number on here came up with it being, the palette, this is six years old. And then th this one was four years old. So this face cleanser was four years old and this was six years old. I mean, not too, too bad because they were. this was still in a kind of sealed package. This was not. So after I was done filming the video, I went ahead and I sent them an email and I explained to them that these two products are expired. And I got an email back pretty quick, like pretty quick. And it was last night. and. Their communication back and forth with me has been spot on. They have a really good customer service. I don't know if I'm speaking to a male or a female because it just says thank you and then their company name. It doesn't have an actual individual's name. So I'm not sure who I'm speaking to, but whoever I am speaking to is very thorough and their com the communication back and forth, like the way that they're presenting themselves, the way that they're writing back to me is very professional. And I do appreciate the way that they are going like taking the time to constantly send me messages. So anyway, they they asked me how I found out and I said because of the batch codes and I sent them the screenshot and they said they would definitely look into it and they'll let me know. So first thing this morning, I got an email from them stating that they contacted Estee Lauder and Estee Lauder did confirm 100% that these two are expired products. So they contacted Macy's to find out why Macy's is selling expired products in the first place. So they basically said that was the first time that they bought from Macy's program. I don't know what program means, but they said this is the first time that they have bought from Macy's program. This will be the first and the last learning experience. I mean, I believe they are a newer company, so they're probably trying to learn as they go as well. But if you're gonna buy from a reputable major department store, you're never gonna think that they're gonna be expired. So I don't think they did this intentionally. Um, I just think that they, they're new starting out and they thought they got an amazing product to put in the box and it ended up being expired. But they are going to be replacing the product. They said they were gonna send me a new product for this because they shouldn't have shipped this to me based on my profile, but it's my first box so maybe they they didn't have time to go off my profile. I'm not quite sure. I'm not really stressing that fact. Um, but these two, they said they are definitely going to be replacing. So I'm going to email them back tonight and I'm going to just ask them if they want to just send it to me my next month's box, just so they don't have to waste more shipping sending it to me since they're going to be replacing these items. And again, it's not their fault. They bought them directly from Macy's is what they're stating. So that's just, that's just a bad, some bad luck right there. But um, I don't know if this is still good after six years. To me, powder form would last a long time. I mean, I probably have eyeshadow palettes that are pretty old <laughs> from a long time ago. But um, I just feel like powdered products should last longer than what they say it is. So I don't know if it's good or not. You guys let me know if that's good to actually use or not. 
but this one definitely they said do not use this because it is expired please they basically said please do not use that just throw that out i will replace it with another product so again i do greatly appreciate their customer service and how they have been responding and they're on it um they're trying to rectify it and make this right so i do commend them on that i i greatly appreciate that so um i don't know if they're going to send me products beforehand but if they do i'm gonna hold them until i get my other box so they might as well just wait until they send me my next month's box and again i did buy a three month subscription i mean i think they have a very good thing going on here these are like higher end products way better than other boxes so i kind of am excited to see what next month brings and what they're going to replace these with so we can kind of see a little bit more of the items that they will be having you guys i just added up the entire retail value it was 183 dollars so for everything that would have been valued for this box is 183 dollars so the liquid these two items that they're replacing the wallet and the necklace $83. Whoa. But yeah, so if you guys want to check them out, you can check out their website. Again, I have them linked down below. You can use my code to save that money off, which is She Crafty for 10% off. And again, I'm going to just ask them just to wait and to not spend the extra shipping to replace these now. Just put them in my box for next month. It's not like I need products right now anyways. <laughs> I just was so excited to bring a new box because now that I'm not doing a few others, I've kind of felt like I was losing a lot of money even though i still have way too many but i just wanted to bring another type of like a lifestyle beauty fashion something that's supposed to be more on the higher end so maybe you'll get your money's worth and i just wanted to show you guys something completely different so um comment down below let me know what did you think of this box this this is just stunning i love this necklace and i really love this wallet i love the fact that you can just like i said get into here get your credit cards no one's gonna see how much money you have all your credit cards are going to fit in here and it has those blocker protectors to help secure your card information. So I do really like this wallet. So, I mean, those two items I'm loving and that's over the price that I paid because that's valued at $80 with those two. And then this will go to somebody that will probably really like it. This is $21. So there's already like a hundred dollars in just those items. So there you go. So definitely comment down below, you guys. Let me know what you thought of this box. Are you excited to see what next month will bring? Because I am. I really want to know what they're going to do next month and what they're going to replace them with and what's going to happen moving forward. But I do think they do have a good thing going. I just, we got to see a little bit more to find out for sure because you never know. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. And until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I will see you on the next one. Bye.